do all lytic lesions start as a focal lesion? The, the way to think about it is, so when myeloma cells uh, are active, uh, they, they, they don't like to leave the bone marrow. They tend to like that environment. And so they start sort of dividing and taking over the bone marrow. And occasionally they start making basically nests of cells that in other cancers we call tumor. Here we call lesions. And they're inside the bone marrow. And so as they grow, they kind of start to distort some of the bone, some of the bone around them. The other thing that myeloma cells do is that they activate these things called osteoclasts. And osteoclasts are the cells that resorb your bones. So our bones are constantly remodeling, we're making new bone and we're resorbing bone, but myeloma favors the resorption of bone. So as the bone gets resorbed, the bones start to weaken. And so as that happens, you will start actually eating into the bone and it will start to appear as a punched out hole in your bone and we call those lytic lesions. But they have to start from inside the bone marrow and then move their way out. Now that's different from when we have what we call extramedullary disease where myeloma cells do learn how to escape the bone marrow and they actually can seed in any other tissue and they're not, uh, they're not coming out of the bone marrow or the bone per se.